What are you watching? Star Wars. Speaking of Star Wars, we've got a couple projects underway here. Clarkman has the R2-D2, and Clark is working on this, and I'm working on Darth Maul, making some progress on there as well. Roxy's working on her napping skills. I really wish we can show these guys how Darth T2, what can Darth T2 do? He's waking up. RT! He's alive! Hey RT2, what are you up to? It's like a control panel, Clark. Mm -hmm. Watch this. So then you're gonna turn around, come back this way. Oh. <laughs> Howdy! It's not easy to control on this. Yeah, it's not like the other one, guys. Yeah, there's this one where you can like program it, and this one you're just kind of moving them like freestyle. This is the interface here, and you're going to take one of these and put it up there. So it's like the start command. And then inside here, you can have them like go forward, go forward. Um, oh, you want them to like tilt? Yeah, tilt back. Okay, I can have him tilt back before he goes forward. And then how about he turns his head before that? And maybe another head turn. I just want to kind of demo this so these guys can see what it's like. Okay, let's set them up. Can you take them down that way and then uh, have them face towards me? And we'll see him not too far out because he's not going to go really that far. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Okay, ready? Yeah. So now all we do, go ahead and click the play button there. And he's going to start doing his thing. So he's looking around. And he should lean back. And now he's going to drive towards us. And that's what completed the sequence. This is just a great opportunity for kids to learn essentially computer programming. You're learning how to take these objects in here and then put them in a sequence that makes him actually do something. And it's pretty neat. Yeah. And he's totally into it. Oh, yes. You want to make one? Yeah. It's all the commands to make him go in different directions. So you can decide what you want him to do. What does this do? Um, I have no idea. You want to try it? Mm -hmm. Something spins. Okay, he's gonna. He's not gonna move a whole lot. He's gonna go forward, go back, and then do some turns. Forward, back. The turn isn't so good out here, is it? Oh, that's on his head around. Yeah. Obviously, I'm a huge fan of Lego, so I'm a little biased, but I feel like this is a fantastic product because it shows that Lego isn't just a toy. It's also an educational resource because he not only had to build that model, but now he's programming it to do what he wants it to do. And I think it's just, it's amazing. It's amazing. Right, let's play it. All right, go ahead. Oh, God. Get it out of the way. Where did he go with? Backwards. Looking around. Looking around some more. You have a lot of look arounds in there, don't you? It's like your own personal robot uh -huh. or droid companion. Can I help you? <laughs> Can I help you? <laughs> it's going for a long time. Oh, something fell off of him. His wheel fell off. <laughs> no. We have a catastrophe here. Uh, uh, what, what happened? It's not supposed to meant to happen. I think we're good now. Oh, let's put this pin in further. Okay. He's fixed. I was just bragging you up, man. We just fast forwarded in time. I just made a Lego deal video, which I'm about to export. And it is currently breakfast 30. Clarkman is pulling out what appears to be peanut butter and crackers for breakfast. Roomba, rest in peace here in the kitchen. Let's see if he can make it home. <laughs> he didn't even make a sound. Battery looks like it's okay. There he goes. Go home. Will he make it? Oh god. Oh god. Ah! You want lids on? Are you gonna be my lid putter runner? How dare you? How dare you, sir? Why don't you start with that, and we'll see what you can dominate. What did I say that? That is a really good question. Our table is looking a little. Uh... I think right here. Okay. I want to say when I put the milk away that there was like one drop left in it. Oh. I'm gonna go down the stairs and get some more milk, okay? Lucky for us. Back up. Oh, November 7th. That's like three days, four days from now. That is so weird because this one was December 31st. 
Why so much time on this, but so little time on that? Weird. Speaking of dates, though, today is November 3rd, 2020, and it is election day, or election night in America, as they're calling it. So we'll see kind of what happens with this. It's a big day in our nation's history, and it's cool to kind of have this captured, I suppose. Who are you voting for? Biden. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Six hours and 33 minute countdown. Like, who does that? I guess they're gonna be eating this up today, and speaking of eating things up, you need more? Oh my gosh. Mm, hungry boy. Kid's a little machine. I like to eat peanut butter. <laughs> are you a robot too? Yes. Bro. Somebody also likes peanut butter in this household. Peanut butter time. Peanut butter dog, peanut butter dog. But you gotta eat fast because class starts in three minutes. There's two more for you. There you are, master. While you're doing that, I'm gonna get you logged in. I had no idea what time it was. I gotta get in here. Is that the way you want it to be? Clark, you will need your bag of red and yellow counters okay. and your chapter three math books. Take your red counter, flip them over, and color them yellow. Oh my gosh. For myself. Oh yes. Baby! Hi, baby. It's still windy out here again today. Brr. The number that comes after six. Clerk! <gasps> seven. Good, the number seven. Yes. So we are going to be using our counters today to help us represent the number seven. So we have seven. six you did red it. Four three makes seven. Yeah. The time has come again for Clark Man to write his numbers from zero to twenty. Let's see how he does. Two months into school. Uh, I really asked. <laughs> That's free. You did it. Yeah. It looks pretty good. There's a couple things though. The nines, you have those backwards. Mm -hmm. That's okay. And then your five down here in fifteen. That's backwards as well. That's a proper five. That kind of looks like a two. You see how the 12 and the 15 look the same? Mm -hmm. That's their backwards. But that's good, man. You're only two months into school and you're you're doing pretty dang good. So we're gonna send that into her here. The materials I need are paint. Hi, baby. The material is paint brushes. <laughs> What's your favorite thing to do in nature? Like Poop in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and draw hopscotch. I, I'm, I'm not drawing to draw hopscotch. Checkers. I'm drawing a window. Remember, checkers were black and red. It looks like something. Those friends should be a small group. This guy. So tell your adult at home. My I have a small group guy. <laughs> tell your adult at home. Okay. Dad, I have a small group lesson. Have a good lunch. I'll see you later. Bye. Speaking of lunch, today we have our Lunch and Lego stream on Patreon where we eat lunch and build Lego. That is scheduled for 12 and it's 11.34, so that gives me 26 minutes to figure out what the heck we're gonna have. I think I found the perfect option. Brand new type of pizza we've never tried before. Urban Pie Pizza Company. Thin artisan crust. Uncured pepperoni. Creamy rosa sauce. Interesting. 425, 11 to 13 minutes. Got it. B -A -D. Good job. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> You're so dang cute, Clark. Into the oven goes the pizza. I'm making a song. I don't need to. Clark, he just did his name like the Google logo. That's awesome. You gotta do the sight work like, so you have to trace all those and then write it. No. Which I know is hard to do on the computer. But. Please don't do this to me, teacher, please. She's looking out for you, boy. You hungry for some pizza, man? Yeah, let's do lunch on Lego. If you're wondering how this works, we use Prism Live Studio to do our streams, and that's on my phone here, so you can kind of see what's happening there. And then it also pops up here. This is the YouTube stream, but then I use this for the chat so I can actually see what people are saying, and it kind of just all works together. I just wrapped up lunch in Lego. Not my finest stream, but it's done, and we didn't get anything built at all. Clark just ate candy, and I just chatted. And we're now back on the grind here with school, and we got this cool assignment here. It says, let's vote. Do you want 
Friday to be pajama day or hat day. So everyone gets to vote and she's gonna announce the winner tomorrow. You know what you're voting for? Yeah. Okay, ready? I want Friday to be pajama day because I love pajamas. On election day, citizens go to a special place to vote for leaders in their community. There are many voting booths. These booths help people keep their votes private. This is what mom and I are going to be doing tonight. Voters You're coming too. Choices on yeah. ballot. It's kind of cool. Put it in the ballot box. We want eh. Think about it. I'll hook you after every blue group. I like that. Clarky just completed his small group thing. And effectively, our day is pretty much pooch. These Tuesdays with the group assignments, it kind of splits our day up into these segments that span the whole entire day. Pew, pew. But that's okay. We still have one more thing to do with you guys today. Something that I wanted to save for Clark Man as a reward for completing a, a solid day of school and doing a good job in his group. It's a little bit of an experiment, if you will. Something we got in mail time. And this is a Kids Labs lemon clock. Discover the science of batteries. Simply add your own lemon and turn this kit into an amazing lemon powered clock. It just so happens to be that when we went to the grocery store the last time, we bought. I got some lemons. I need a lemon. <laughs> you almost reach it. We got a lemon to try this thing out. Holy. Oh, we can make lemonade with this lemon. We clock. could actually. We can make a clock and lemonade with the same item. Yeah. It's incredible. I told you guys this morning, even when you're playing with what could be a toy, like with R2D2, it's still a learning experience. And I think it's only proper that we send you guys out with the final experiment of the day, which is also play, but learning as well with the lemon clock. So let's get into this Ooh. and see what it's like. Our clock can be tasty. <laughs> Ew, yeah. I don't eat wires. Ew. I don't think you're necessarily supposed to eat this while you're playing with it. It's more of just a thing to try out. Here's our actual clock right there. It's like a little digital one. And then we also have these sticks that go inside here as well. And I think that's what somehow makes this work. We're gonna cut this like this. <laughs> Are you a droid commander like R2D2? Yeah. All right, there goes our lemon. And we're gonna put one copper line and one zinc line into each side. So you do that one and I'll do this one. Make sure that little hole is at the top. So watch dad here. See how it's going in like that? Mm -hmm. Push that all the way in through the lemon. I did all right. that. And we're going to push this one all the way in through the lemon as well. I did that to mine. Okay, so we got both of those in there. You didn't know you are going to get a science experiment today, did you? We're, we're going to wrap oh, that around. Oh, lemon. Hopefully that works. And next time, tomorrow, you'll see a rocket one, at least I think. Oh, yeah. Can we Stay tuned to a future video. We've got one other science experiment to do with you guys. We're going to take this black wire. Oh, I'm kind of learning from this. Are you? Mm-hmm. Okay, so that wraps around that one. Clock. And then we're going to take the red one. Oh gosh. It's the middle bomb. They're all flying off here. Oh no, half her We're going to put the red one around here. I don't know how this works, but supposedly it's going to. Everything looks like it's wired up here. Why don't we have anything on our watch? I feel like that was supposed to work. Please hold as I actually read the directions. Copper wire to a zinc wire on the white. Aha! We made a little bit of a mistake here. Just a little one that can be fixed. You know what lesson we can learn from this, Clark? What? Make sure you actually read the directions. It wouldn't be an adventure if it just worked, right? Yeah. It wouldn't be fun. If I stick this in here. <gasps> oh my gosh. It's actually working, Clark, man. <gasps> just setting it by pressing these little pins on the side there. Oh, it's a stopwatch too. Oh my gosh. That's pretty wild, dude. So there you go. We now have a clock that is being run off of a lemon. How does it work? You may ask. It says on here, the copper plates act like the positive electrodes of a battery. They're plated with a metal which is less reactive than zinc. When the plates are inserted in the lemon, a chemical reaction occurs. Electrons, extremely small particles with negative charge, move from the zinc plates to the copper plates to form a current, thus activating the LCD watch. The lemon juice helps conduct electricity. You can replace the lemon with a potato, a grapefruit, or use soft drinks and see what effect they have. That is pretty wild, dude. Uh, wow. I'm sucking off the lemon juice. You're drinking our battery, bro. We just found out what the best part of the kids' lab's lemon clock is. Drinking it. <laughs> he dies. Here is our first science experiment almost gone wrong. Do you want to share with them our science experiment for tomorrow? 
Yeah. This one you're about to see, I think, is going to be next level. Look at this. This is the Kids Lab's micro rocket. It's time to be a rocket scientist. Just add vinegar and baking soda and watch it go. Three, two, one, blast off. That's our experiment for tomorrow. I don't think we can mess this one up, Clark, man. Although, you never know. You'll have to come back tomorrow to find out. But we do thank you guys for watching today's vlog, whatever it turned into. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you learned of anything today that you should follow directions, and anything can be an educational experience, as long as you put your mind to it. <laughs>